Bryant Medical Center is committed to patient safety and that's why we've brought the Xenix germ zapping robot on site in our evaluation of current practices uh, and how, just how we can take it to the next level, enhance what we're currently doing uh, and continue to, to fight those statistics nationally that are on the rise. Uh, we found this, um, this science, this technology, and we certainly think that this is the next step in helping us achieve that. The science behind it disables the DNA of the bacteria, viruses, and spores uh, that contribute to hospital-acquired infections. We still go through our, our normal cleaning routine. Uh, this is brought in after that cleaning. What it does, it's a pulsating UVC light that disinfects up to 99.9% .9 of the room after the initial cleaning. And the reason that that's so important is that hospital-acquired infections contribute to more deaths annually than, than car accidents, AIDS, and breast cancer combined. Really the focus is on uh, the OR room, also uh, patient rooms. At this point, uh, it hasn't been disruptive to patient flow. Uh, it hasn't delayed um, getting patients up to the areas and getting the care that they need. You know, one of the highlights of, of having the Zenix group here and uh, providing the training and kind of evaluating uh, how we're doing in the early stages is that they were thoroughly impressed and very complimentary of, of our staff and our ability to integrate it into our operation as quickly as we did. As the focus on, on some of the more challenging hospital card infections, uh, for instance C. diff, MRSA and VRE to name a few, uh, as we continue to see those rates rise uh, nationally, uh, we, we want to stay ahead of that. Some of the studies that are out there regarding this UVC light showed significant reductions with, with regards to these with hospital acquired infections. I think anyone that, that um, comes to the hospital, you know, it's one of their fears, right? Is that, um, am I going to be safe? Is it going to be clean? Am I going to be, you know, am I going to get in and get, get what treatment I need and get out and not come across the hospital card infections? And at this point, we're one of only two hospitals in the state of Nebraska utilizing this technology. And I think that certainly speaks to our commitment, commitment to, to patients, to the community, uh, and to ultimately achieving zero harm events.